Hi friends, now we are going to show you about a transaction SM20, okay, um, that is used for doing the audit checks, okay, so the governance risk compliance, and with this, with this also we are going to, so I have this, uh, this debugger switched on, that's why we are getting this, I'll just execute, I think I have authorization for this, okay, so I'll execute okay and here you can see you can put some so currently in this system uh, i think we don't have let me see it's uh we'll put zero one and zero seven and we'll see 2359 <clears throat> 59 and we'll see whether we have some data in this here so we read audit log so, oh yeah, we have some data, that's wonderful. So here you can see all this data that you can read. These are very, very, very important stuff. You can see these are the transaction code. These are red colors. That means they, those are the ones that you want to check. And then there are other stuffs that you can see. It's based on different IDs also, you can see. So there is these transaction codes that are being used. So these is very helpful, okay? You can do all the naughty <laughs> things that people are doing in the system and all those things. These are very, 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 very important. Governance risk compliance, okay? And you can check all these things and you can also find the terminal from where it's happening. So this is really, really, really nice. So these are very helpful stuff that you can do. And based on these users, you know, you can do filters or whatever you want. So if I see, I click on the user. Okay. And if I click on this, I can see what are the different users that are playing here in the system. So if I see, suppose I want to see this one, student 009, and we'll see what's the security log for this. And here you can see, oh, this was, oh, content in debugger changed by this and all those things. So this is very, very, very useful. If you want, uh, I'll just click on the delete filter and it will bring, be, bring back me all this data. Now, if I want, I want to see based on the T code, I'll do a filter, okay. <clears throat> and from this T code, I can find out what are the T codes that are being really used in this system, okay. So if you want, suppose I want to see um, uh, PFTC, okay, this is related with workflow. So you have a bunch of people doing workflow in these things. So if I see here, I click and here you can see this is being used by this person. So this is very, very useful. So this is everything on SM20. Now for the SM20, sometimes you might need to fetch all this data out. There is a function model that you can use. That's the function model name, okay. I do not have authorization. So let me click on this. I'll click, uh, I have execute. Okay. And here I will say RSAU. And it's, there is this two, two function model that you can use. And this is something that is, so one is read file and read log. So read file you should be using and read log also to get all this data. Now, another transaction that I will say you might be using is SM21. That's the system log. So the system log, uh, just execute. And here you can find what are the things that are happening in the system. So I'll put, suppose today, what happened in this system. So I'll put 00, zero and I'll say 23 hours and we'll execute. And it will tell me what has happened to this. What are the different things happened from which terminal you logged in and all those things. This is very, 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 very useful also. System log messages, okay. So you are changing something, data or something, all things will be getting caught in this. You cannot, cannot fool this log, system log messages, okay. So this is very, 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 very useful. So SM20, SM21 and those two function models. So that covers everything on the audit logs.